Gemini, welcome on in and a big happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a good one. Yeah, we're getting into Gemini season and it's exciting, is it not? <laughs> Hopefully all these uh, eclipses didn't ruffle you too much, but y'all can flex and flow with it. I know you can. I'm going to see for you in this reading what the main messages are for this solar year ahead, this birthday year ahead, basically from mid-May of 2022 on to mid-May of 2023. What are the messages for Gemini? What are the birthday messages for Gemini in the year ahead? Those kind of wanted to lean forward, so I'm going to take them. Answering the call, watching the clouds, navigating by the stars, protected by angels. And at the foundation, begin now. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so we're gonna go deeper into this, but before we do, I want you to listen to a quick two minute message that I think is gonna interest you. I hope it interests you. And if you stay tuned to the end of this quick message, then we're gonna go deeper into what this means for you. Did you know that your birthday is a great time to treat yourself to a solar report? What's a solar report? Some of you are asking. Well, it's a year ahead astrological report showing what the next 12 months will likely bring for you based upon the time when the sun reaches the exact degree of your natal chart sun. What does it cover? Well, it covers all 12 areas of life represented by all 12 houses. Yes, that's relationships, romance, it's career and money, it's family and healing. And what you'll know from this report is your main focus for the year ahead, where you're most and least supported in your efforts, where you're the most lucky, where you're the most challenged, right? Very important because some of you, you know, maybe you want to focus on your career, but actually the most support you're getting in the year ahead is with home and family. It's not that you can't be a success with that, but getting that information really helps to equip you with the challenges in the year ahead and take advantage of the good luck and fortune in the areas of life where you're getting it astrologically. Another thing that you'll know from this report is where the major changes are most likely to occur for you in the year ahead, where you can expect the unexpected, what is your blind spot, where are you most prone to deception and lack of clarity. This is very helpful so that if you're making very important decisions in life to make these major changes, you can kind of get a second set of lenses to say, you know, Probably in this area, I might not be seeing things exactly clearly or getting all the information. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to do my homework to really make for sure that I pivot optimally. Another thing that you can learn from this report is what are the main pain points in the year ahead that you're likely to occur because that's going to show where to focus your self-healing where to work on self-love, where you need to be gentle with yourself over the year ahead, very important for your spiritual growth. And also what's likely to make you angry over the next year, very important for doing damage control. You know, it comes up for all of us, but you know, when we are forewarned, we are forearmed. And I think all this information that you can get out of a solar report is going to really equip you to make the most of all the energies that are uniquely up ahead for you and you alone. So if you're interested in this 30 minute reading, I am offering it as a special for you know, my happy birthday to you. It's 30 minutes for $50. And who might be interested in this? Well, if you're having a birthday right now, if you've got a birthday coming up or you just had one or you're in the middle of your birthday season, absolutely would be a good time to take advantage and get a snapshot of what's coming up for you in the next solar year. And if you want to take advantage of that offer, then make sure to reach out to me at crownedones.weebly.com. I will have the link in the description box and the comments down below. Okay, thanks for watching that message. And let me say, you know, right out the gate, a couple things really pop out at me with this reading is that there's something about now that's very important. Right here, right now, you see with these two cards, you've got the word now is really critical. So some of you might have had some downtime. Some of you need to take a little bit of downtime to figure out what the right now move is for you to make. I think that there's a lot of particularly with these two cards over here 
a lot of spiritual influence in your life and definitely this as well showing me that there's been a lot of divine downloads given to you to really direct your path and let you know that it is okay to take the first step in doing something right here right now obviously for each of you it's going to be you know something different as far as what it is you're being asked to boldly step into but it's a new beginning most definitely and with this card it's talking about taking that first step even if you don't feel ready knowing that now is the time to start a new cycle in your life and maybe wipe the slate clean in your life and get going by releasing things that you've gotten familiar with maybe routines things that have become stagnant uh, you know situations relationships that have maybe challenged you and all those things have been showing you revealing to you that it's time to let it go because it's no longer supporting you where you're at right now in your life and where you're trying to go or it's not empowering you with where you're at right now and where you're trying to go and so with new beginnings there's always an ending and so some of you if you are receiving this reading and you're thinking where is it i don't see where the new beginning is because maybe maybe it is that you're sitting in the midst of, of an ending um, but that is just further confirmation that something new is starting because whatever is ending in your life is making way for something new to come in and so this is about you you know getting going on that new path and for some of you this might mean letting go of you know familiar friends family uh, maybe not forever maybe temporary and maybe a time of separation um, so that you can meet new acquaintances come into new places but basically get beyond what is familiar to you so that you can allow real transformative change to occur in your life but before you get to that there has to be some kind of heightened awareness as to what that change needs to be and for some of you the step taking that first step might feel difficult because yes maybe you got a wake-up call some of you might also feel a bit overwhelmed by what is being asked of you but again the time is now is what i'm uh, being shown with the cards and what i'm hearing intuitively is what fields are right for harvest right now it's not what you feel it's not maybe what you want uh, it's what you need like what needs to be worked on right now what needs to be attended to right now uh, because this is about some sacred journey starting with a call some of you do feel ready others of you not quite certain or not willing to answer the call but whatever the call is you've got to respond is what this is showing me and if you've been waiting for your life to make changes which i kind of see right here with the watching the clouds card well this is indicating that now is the time for you to finally you know be done with all that waiting because this is a sign that the wait is over and some gateway is opening up for you and it might be communication from the spirit realm i'm definitely seeing with these two cards that one over here that you're getting a lot of divine downloads and you've got a lot of courage i think surrounding you energy trying to bolster your courage around you to take action and to move forward and so be aware of whatever's calling to your attention right now okay because this is you know whatever this is it's, it's pulling at your attention it's telling you that now is your time to take action to do what you need to do to listen with your heart and take a plunge forward take a leap of faith and let the time of waiting be over let this time of having concerns maybe hesitations finally come to an end i'm hearing cease i don't know why i just heard desist okay cease and desist which is a legal term uh so i don't know how, exactly why that's coming up in this reading but some there's something you need to cease and desist at doing and, and and hopefully you've had enough time to reflect on this if you haven't it's time to take a time out and figure out what are the signs that are around you telling you it's time to cease and desist with something that you have been doing so that you can take action on something else maybe in another direction and some of you already have a deep sense of knowing of what this is but you need to believe you need to trust you need to have faith in the signs and the synchronicities that are around you now with this watching the clouds card this says lie back rest and relax well kind of a, an irony given these other cards saying 
oh, you need to take action now. Like I said, either you've had this time of waiting and reflecting, and that's what you now need to take action on, or if you're still not clear within yourself, you need to take, I'm hearing a structured time out, okay? Like, I don't know if you need to give yourself a day, a week, a month, you need to set a timetable of, I'm going to give myself time to reflect on this and I'm going to make a decision. I'm not gonna continue doing this, you know, kind of la di da what should, deliberating back and forth back, you know, in my head. Um, this is about you, um, some of you also gathering the energy, renewing your energy so that you can take action. If you already know what it is that you need to do in the here and now, and you know it's a major task, get ready for it, okay? But again, some of you, this is about, if you haven't done the evaluation, it's time. It's time to evaluate and get the answers that you seek. And it's also time to make sure that your energy is renewed and regenerated so that you can step out and take the action necessary. You've got the energy to get you there and the road ahead. It's yet also another, another sign indicating that there are signs on the road ahead, okay? The presence of spirit around you being felt, which I saw, I saw over here with both of these cards and, and here as well. A lot of confirmation of spiritual presence. I think I wanna pull an additional card for you um, about what that angelic presence is for you. But let's, let's talk about this other card, Navigating by the Stars. It says, follow your bliss. Well, what's gonna make you happy? What's giving you peace, Gemini? This is about also trusting your gut and having faith that there is a higher power that is navigating helping you to navigate and direct your life, but allowing those decisions also to be spirit led because you have taken the time to relax, to be patient, to receive the divine downloads in a very unhurried, unrushed way. You've gotten clear within yourself and you have come to a place of trusting that everything is going according to plan in life. And you have the confidence to know that all is well and that it will be well. This is also going with your gut instinct as far as the right way to go, okay, the direction. Some of you, I'm also getting that this might have to do with your astrology. Uh, some of you need to dive deeper into your astrology and really understand given your natal chart and the current transits, uh, what what is the energy supporting right now and what is it not, which is very important for all of us to do in my personal opinion. Because, you know, some of you might want to really take off and let's say go full on with your dating life but you maybe have saturn in the fifth house transiting right now and that that's that's posing some limitations or some challenges okay or perhaps you're wanting to focus on your vocational life your 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 workspace okay but it, again maybe maybe saturn is transiting your sixth house presenting limitations and challenges. So again, we look at where the challenges are, we look at where the blessings are, and blessings will be, where's Jupiter transiting? I mean, again, I'm, I'm oversimplifying, but you get the idea, really taking a closer look at what's being supportive right now and what's not. And also, I'm, I'm also now hearing intuitively, you need to look at your North Node, okay? That somebody needs to hear that. If you are looking at the astrology yourself, where is your North Node transiting right now? That's gonna be very revealing. And finally, with the Protected by Angels card, you are, you are cherished by the angels. This card is saying that you are blessed and a lot of blessings are showering down from above in your life. And there is an angelic presence in your life. There is angelic intervention in your life that's available to you at all times. But this is about you being open to feeling that presence. Both of these cards are telling me though that the present is, presence is all around you and surrounding. These are very spiritual cards, all of them. But again, another sign of you needing to spread your wings and soar in this life and know that it's you know safe for you to do that, that you are being protective. And yes, whatever this new beginning is that you're being called to step up into courageously, there are probably gonna be times when you can't see the road ahead, but you need to trust, you need to, I'm hearing walk by faith, not by sight, okay? You might not see it, but there is supporting, guiding presence around you in unseen ways at all times. And I am also hearing look out for signs, synchronicities, particularly with feathers. If you see feathers 
or I'm also hearing birds, okay, birds coming on your window seal or something like that. Um, this is spirit affirming to you that there is a sacred plan for your life, that you are being divinely guided, that you are going in the right direction. Things are unfolding exactly as they should be. And it can also mean that you are an angelic healing force for others because you've got so much light within you. Now I'm going to leave you off with something special that I don't ordinarily do for the others because, you know, the others don't get so much angelic presence showing up in their cards as you have. This is something special for y'all, Gemini. Um, let's see what the angelic presence is in your life right now. Happiness. Oh, gorgeous. And faith. So, I mean, we've been hearing, you know, in this entire reading about you keeping the faith. Walking by faith, not by sight. Trusting in the unseen. Right? Faith is a hope in things that are unseen. Okay? Hope against all hope. There's something about your faithfulness um, that is like unbothered by whatever the material 3D realm is saying to you. You looking beyond that into the 5D. Realizing this is all an illusion. And I don't know why I'm being led to tell people, you know, if you've uh, never heard of people having psychedelic trips, experiences, uh, maybe go watch. Go watch. There's a guy on here named Shaman Oaks. And um, he talks about uh, these psychedelic experiences. He also talks about near-death experiences. He's got a YouTube channel. Maybe listen to that because we'll talk about how this is this is like a dream. This is like maybe a game, <laughs> the matrix, you know? And so over the next year, I feel like you have got to be able to look beyond the illusion that is this reality. You've got to be able to see into the ethereal. And for some of you, this is your pathway to happiness looking beyond the veil, seeing beyond, behind the illusion. I hope this has helped y'all. And I'm wishing you a very happy, faith-filled year to come. Be blessed.